The Type 93 is the Chinese PLA Navy's main nuclear attack submarine. Its NATO reporting name is the Shang class. The NATO naming convention is to call each Chinese submarine classes after a historical Chinese dynasty. This is the most powerful class out of the Chinese Navy's currently operational nuclear attack submarines. Although the ongoing development and construction of the Type 95 SSN may change that in the not too distant future. With the end of the Cold War and the disintegration of the Soviet Union, China's national security situation has undergone fundamental changes. The focus has shifted from resisting the potential land invasion of a powerful and sometimes hostile neighbor to defending against a possible maritime threat to China's long coastline and to ward off amphibious invasions. A modern nuclear attack submarine force was seen as important in this regard. Consequently, the development of the Shang class SSNs started in 1994 with the strong backing of the Chinese president at the time, Jiang Zemin. Chinese sources also considered the development to be a reaction to a maritime incident in 1993 involving the United States and China in the Persian Gulf. The Chinese container ship, the Yinhe, was accused by US military intelligence of carrying chemical weapons to Iran. The Yinhe was stopped by the US military, which boarded the ship to inspect for chemical materials, but found no chemical weapons whatsoever. The week's long delay led to substantial commercial cost for China, and American officials declined to apologize for the incident, claiming that they had acted in good faith. This led to a deterioration in the Sino-American relationship at the time, and an increase in nationalism in China. The memoir of Chinese Admiral Liu Huaqing claims that the de development of the Shang class was a bid to strengthen China's blue water submarine capability in order to protect the country's maritime trade routes and sea lines of communication. The Shang class is generally considered to be a massive improvement over China's first generation nuclear attack submarine, the Type 91 Han class. They are deployed alongside the country's ballistic missile submarines and so likely plays a role in defending them from other countries' subs. The Shang class submarines were all constructed at the Bohai shipyard at Huluda, located in the Liaoning province that borders North Korea. The Bohai shipyard is up to now the only Chinese shipyard that is capable of producing nuclear-powered submarines. The first Type 93 submarine started construction in 1998 at Bohai and was launched in 2002. A second submarine was launched in 2003. They were commissioned into the PLA Navy in 2006 and 2007, res respectively. The Type 93 SSNs and its derivatives are shrouded in secrecy, but most observers agree that they are three variants. They are two of the original Type 93 boats that were launched in 2002 and 2003. They are also up to four of the Type 93A improved versions, first launched in 2012, that is considered to be much quieter and stealthier than the original design. Some Western observers have referred to this variant as the Type 93B. There is also a third design, the Type 93G model, that are armed with vertical launch systems for large anti-ship cruise missiles, including the YJ-18. It's not clear at all how many submarines of this class are in service. Most sources put the number at six, but other sources which are fairly credible, including Naval Library, has identified the pennant numbers and the names for nine Shang class submarines. When it comes to the Chinese submarine force, trying to definitively confirm the precise number of nuclear submarine hulls is impossible. The best one can say with a straight face is to give a range in terms of the number of hulls that may exist. So there is probably between 6 to 9 Shang class submarines in service, from what I can see. 
The main unknown is the number of the Type 93A and the Type 93G that has been built. The Shane class is estimated to displace about 7,000 tons when submerged, about as much as the American Los Angeles class, although smaller than their most recent Virginia class. Speed is estimated to be around 30 knots, which is on the slower end of the, the spectrum of nuclear-powered attack submarines, but still as fast as a typical large surface warship. High speed will mainly be used for sailing to and from a battle zone. Once inside a battle, submarines will probably travel at low speeds to reduce the likelihood of detection. Total complement is estimated to be around 100 crewmen, which is about typical for its size. The operational range is unlimited by fuel because of its nuclear power and is limited only by food supplies. The Shang class is double hulled and constructed out of the HY116 high strength steel. Both of these features help the Type 93 to be a deep diving submarine, comparable to, although not the same as, America's Sea Wolf class. Let's talk about the nuclear refueling requirements of the Type 93. The US, Britain and Russia typically use highly enriched uranium in their nuclear submarine reactors, which does not require refueling over the lifetime of the sub. However, China, as well as France, are believed to use high-density, low-enriched uranium that will occasionally require swapping out or refueling. The French nuclear-powered submarines require refueling every 10 years or so, and this may be probably a fair guess for the Type 93 as well. In terms of how stealthy the Shang class is, I have done a video that used Chinese and Western sources to compare the noise level of the Type 93 to the current American nuclear attack submarines. The link to the video can be found in the top right hand corner. Basically, I took the middle ground between the domestic Chinese experts' opinions, which tends to be quite optimistic, and the American intelligence community assessments, which tends to downplay Chinese submarine capability. Here is a graph that shows how, in my view, the noise level of the Chinese nuclear submarines compare with their American and Russian counterparts. The source for the American and Russian submarines are from the US Office of Naval Intelligence. The line showing the noise level of Chinese submarines rep represents my own personal opinion, based on what I have read from certain American experts and from online discussions in Chinese naval forums. I believe that the pair of the original Type 93 submarines are at about the same level of noise as the original Flight 1 of the Los Angeles class in the 1980s, but it is still noisier than the improved Los Angeles class designs. However, the improvements to the stealth capabilities in the Type 93A and the Type 93G variants of the Shang class have led the American defense community to believe that these newer versions of the Shang are just as silent as the improved Los Angeles class which are still currently the backbone of the US Navy's submarines fleet. However, any specific knowledge about the stealth features of the Shang class is not readily available. What we do know is that the Shang class has the standard anechoic tiles, or rubber tiling, that help to absorb sound waves, which helps reduce the range it can be detected by active sonar. The anechoic tiling is nothing new, but the adhesive and the flexible skin on top of the tiles are believed to be better than on the Type 91 Han class, which should minimize the water resistance from the anechoic tiles and greatly reduce the mechanical noise emitted by the submarine. There is also speculation by some Western observers that the nuclear reactor cooling pump has gotten more silent in the later Shang class variants owing to improvements in the Chinese nuclear power design from 1995 to 2000, and also possibly uh, owing to outside help from Russia. But the evidence for this is pretty scant. Lastly, some analysts also believe 
that the Shang class use a 7-bladed large skew propeller that is an improved version of the 7-bladed propeller on earlier Chinese submarines, with lower levels of noise from cavitation. That said, I have not seen a single picture of the propeller, so this should be regarded as informed speculation from these analysts rather than facts. The Shang class is armed with six heavy torpedo tubes of the 533mm dimension, which fires the U-6 or the U-9 heavyweight homing torpedo. The U-6 torpedo is believed to be the equivalent of the American Mark 48 torpedo. It has a range of 50 kilometers and a top speed of 48 knots. Guidance system is a combination of wire guidance and active and passive acoustic homing. The U-9 is a more advanced version of the U-6 that utilizes an electrically powered propulsion rather than the Otto Fuel 2 powered propulsion, and it has a sizable blast radius with an area of effect kill zone, based on superheated temperature that can destroy a target even without a direct hit. While the U-9 can probably be considered an upgrade to the U-6, it is not clear how many U-9s have been produced, so Chinese nuclear attack submarines may still be using both types of torpedoes. The Shang class can also fire the YJ-82 submarine-launched anti-ship cruise missile from its torpedo tubes. These are a subsonic missile, and the submarine-launched variants have a shorter range of 80 kilometers. Lastly, the newest Type 93G variant is equipped with a dozen vertical launch systems, which is believed to be able to launch the YJ-18 supersonic anti-ship cruise missile and the CJ-10 land attack cruise missile. The YJ-18 is a powerful cruise missile that travels at a subsonic speed in its cruise mode, but accelerates to a supersonic speed at the terminal phase of its flight while also changing its radar signature, which reduces the probability of interception. The addition of these missile cells on board the Type 93G will have increased its offensive capability by leaps and bounds. For underwater detection, the Shang class is equipped with the HSQZ-265A integrated sonar mounted in the bow, and the HSQG-207 flank array sonar system, with three sonar arrays mounted on each flank of the submarine. The bow sonar should, should be an active and passive sonar, while the flank arrays are probably passive sonars for longer range surveillance. This is assuming that the Shang class follows the conventional submarine sonar placement. There is also a towed array sonar system to boost the acoustic detection range. Information related to the actual capability of each sonar system is not readily available. Lastly, a relatively small Type 359A radar mounted in the mast is responsible for short-range surface and air search when the submarine is underway on the surface of the sea. At least some of the Shang class also appear to feature a hangar or some sort of shelter capable of holding a miniature submarine for inserting special operations forces or other elite infantry, according to Chinese domestic sources and the Western-aligned Jane's Defense Weekly. This can be compared to the sealed delivery vehicle of the US Navy, which is deployed in a shelter on specially modified US nuclear-powered submarines, such as some of the Los Angeles class. Obviously, this submersible is used to transport Navy SEALs on raids against lightly defended coastlines. However, Jane's defense claimed that the transfer of personnel to the submersible attached to the Type 93 cannot be easily achieved while the Type 93 submarine is submerged, implying some sort of limitation to this Chinese capability. Nevertheless, in the event of a conflict, you can imagine the Shang class boats being used to launch amphibious raids by PLA Special Forces. So, in the event of an armed conflict, how might the PLA-N use the Type 93 and its derivatives? 
Well, first, we need to be very clear that the PLAN perceives the U.S. Navy to be the main potential threat in the foreseeable future. One focus of China's military modernization has been to deter and, if necessary, to defeat a U.S.-led intervention in the event of a conflict over Taiwan or the South China Sea. I believe the PLAN would use the Shang-class submarines as one part of its anti-access strategy to hinder or to prevent U.S. naval forces from entering the theater of conflict altogether. They can be used together with the long-range anti-ship ballistic missiles of the PLA Rockets Force to achieve the same objective. To be clear, anti-access is a term coined by the US military, but I think it describes part of the PLAN's strategy fairly well. The nuclear attack submarines can take advantage of their relatively high speed, survivability, and operational range to inflict attritional losses on advancing US naval forces, targeting high-value assets such as amphibious assault ships and aircraft carriers. I don't believe that the Shang class will be assigned to ASW operations, including to track down US ballistic missile submarines, because they are likely to be noisier than the latest class of US submarines, such as the Virginia class. This will put the Type 93 at a disadvantage in a sub versus sub engagement. The PLAN has an abundance of surface ASW warships to do this job more effectively. However, the Type 93 could be tasked with providing escort protection to China's own ballistic missile submarines, in the latter's mission to maintain the country's nuclear deterrence. The Shang class may also be used to protect maritime trade routes, especially in the Indian Ocean, but it is not clear as of yet what China's strategy for sea lanes protection is outside of the near seas. China may decide that trade protection in the distant oceans in the event of a war is too difficult and instead may focus on land-based trade with Russia. But if they do choose to protect overseas trade, then the Type 93 can play a useful role. All told, the Shang class is China's first modern nuclear-powered attack submarine. The previous Type 91 is more of a stopgap design that provide experience to Chinese shipbuilders and to train submariners. The Type 93 represents a vast improvement of the stealth capability of Chinese nuclear attack subs, and this is particularly true of the improved variants, the Type 93A and the Type 93G. They are also very well armed with the latest design incorporating a submarine-based BLS system that can fire a large number of cruise missiles very quickly. That said, the PLA Navy appears to have halted the production of the Shang class at between 6 to 9 boats in total, suggesting that they have since moved on to more advanced SSN designs. The PLA Navy is currently constructing a new class of Type 95 nuclear attack submarines that are expected to be quieter and better armed in the Shang class. Some sources believe that it has already been launched, but not much actual information will be available for some time. This concludes my overview on the Shang class nuclear attack submarine, the Type 93. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.